Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, welcome, welcome everyone. Um, so I'm a little bit tired today. I, I swear, our children, well, especially our daughter, she, so my wife and I call it the witching hour. No, is it? No, it's um, the witching hour, yeah. At 4 a.m. where she just wakes up and she's ready. And uh, it, it, when we look at the clock and it's 3.30, we're like, oh, my God, okay. And there's something about the second 4 o'clock comes. She's up and she's up and she's up. So that's been a bit much. And our son is having his surgery today. He's getting his tonsils out and um, it's going to, I have this, <laughs> it's going to be really good because he's actually been quite congested and he's had it since he was born. So he doesn't, he doesn't know anything other than being stuffy all day. So his life is about to get so much better. And my wife is with him at the hospital now. So I'm here with everyone else because we are all family. So I'm here, right? Okay. So that's a little bit of Anthony's life. Now, some super cool stuff. Um, where do I want to start? Where do I want to start? So I'm working, let's just kind of go through it, right? So Rhino Bot, I'm working with the team today at three o'clock. I'm really going to get under the hood. I, I do believe it probably has come quite far since we've last spoken. I did not meet with my team member yesterday because he did ask for one more day because he wants to have some more stuff done to show me, which is a good sign. Um, Whisper is being held up because of a server issue, but I believe it's the same server issue that we had with Whisper going live to begin with. Now, of course, you know, it is live. Now we're just upgrading it. So I'm, I'm optimistic and not even cautiously so, but like I'm pretty optimistic that will be done by, let's say tomorrow, right? Uh, I think it'll be done by today, but I don't want to look too foolish. Um, I do enough to look foolish, right? So that's that. Um, what else do I want to get to? I feel like I'm, I'm burying the lead a little bit. Okay. So I see Travis is on, which is cool. So two things I had a, I had a call with Travis yesterday and we have call with our rhinos all the time, but uh, I had a call with him yesterday. And what's really valuable about those calls is like others, it's, there's just a lot of good ideas. Now, if you remember, we were working with that, um, social media company, Oki which by the way is the worst name for anything. It just sounds gross, but we wanted to have something that was a bit decentralized, something that wasn't Facebook, something that, um, that we could, that we could trust that, uh, we didn't believe our data was going to be exploited and we didn't believe we'd be too close to big tech. Um, but it just hasn't panned out. It's not exciting. There's something really going on with it. And we've said many times that we're very fond of Twitter under Elon. And, and that's why we decided that that's where we're going to start moving our social presence. Um, so we did. And when I was on the phone with Travis yesterday, he's like, Hey, do we have like a community center, like something social where everyone could talk? And I, I, I said the same exact thing to him. And I said, like, I look at Twitter because I know Elon and them are doing good things. I bet you there's a way that I could bring my Twitter feed into Rhino membership. In which case, when anyone signs into Rhino membership or Rhino hub, um, they'll be able to actually engage with the community as a whole. Um, and we did it like, uh, it, it took some time yesterday, but I was able to do it and I'm going to show it to you. Now the next challenge is setting it up as the community center. Right. And that, that takes a level of awareness, right? Like we have to let everyone know this is where to go. We have to come up with some type of an, uh, engaging schedule, something that, something that when someone wakes up or during their day, they're like, Oh, you know, what? I didn't check into Rhino yet. Let me see what's going on over there. And that only happens if there's something going on. Right? Like it's called water cooler talk because everyone congregates around the water cooler. But if there's no water in the water cooler, nobody congregates. So we need to figure out how to get the water in the water cooler. Um, but let me just show you. So let me do a share screen. Oh, I want to, <laughs> oh man, I want to surprise you with that. Okay. Let's do this first. Um, so this is, oh, this is my task for today. This is Anthony being Anthony. Um, let's see if you can hear this. <laughs> so that's Anthony being Spanish, but let's, let's listen to what Anthony's actually saying. So cool. 
So actually I could change the voice and change the languages. Uh, obviously that doesn't sound like me, but there will be a closer version. And this is just something that we're building um, for something down the road. Anyway, I want to surprise you with that. Okay, so let's go to Kartra. Let's go to membership. 298 active members, that's pretty cool. Look at the last seven days. This one day we got 30 extra, uh, 30 extra, 30 new members. So login link, I'm an admin, login. Travis is gonna love this. Everyone should love this, hopefully. So I, I reorganize membership so that it's more friendly in terms of flow, et cetera, et cetera. But look, this is the Twitter feed. So of course I need to, like when people come here, when our rhinos come here, what is going to be here that's gonna catch their attention? What's gonna be here like, oh my God, I, I wanna talk on this or I, I wanna, I don't know. That I gotta figure out. And I'm totally up for suggestions. So anyone that comes up with something, please email it to me. Um, but this is, this is live. This is our actual Twitter feed. So we effectively, and we named it Rhino Community. So we have a social media presence that allows everyone to congregate and find a common place that everyone could talk. That's really cool. Okay. Actually, since I have share screen, let's just do some other stuff. So Google Chrome, no, I don't want Google Chrome. I want Rhino Bucks Google Sheet. Okay, so I also wanna show you something. Now, I, now I, I think everyone remembers that we kind of stagnated on 350 accounts, 350 accounts for quite some time. Actually, I could just show it to you. All right, so going back to, let's see, December 16th, we got to 350. Um, March 28th, we're at 350, right? So that's what, almost four months. And I'd always said, well, it was because we were building stuff. I wasn't doing any marketing efforts. And we're still not doing marketing efforts, but I've allowed the emails to be a little bit more, hey, come join us. Um, we've built other platforms and well, all the stuff that we built, we're, we're now releasing. And what you'll find is look at these numbers. 351, 2, 64, 65, 66, 68, 73, 76, 77, 79, and what you could see is on the 12th, we're at 400. Five days later, we're at 447. We're at 447 weekly recurrings every single week right now. And we have expectations that those numbers will just continue uh, going in the right direction. And that's before RhinoBot. And I've, I've always, well, I haven't always said it, right? Like I've, I've been saying it for the last month or two. RhinoBot is going to be the game changer. It really, it's just, it's going to be the game changer. When we are able to put that on every asset and that bot is able to actually convince and persuade people into it and facilitate, that's going to be unheard of. And then when we go ahead and allow it to be its own affiliate platform where anyone could say, hey, listen, that, that thing is working really well. I, I, want, I, wanna, I wanna get paid too. So can I have the bot and I'll just put it places and all the sales it makes, it'll reward me as well. Yeah, sure. In fact, you could go ahead and get a 1% reward on anybody else if you go give this to them. So wait a second, I can go ahead and earn money and then I could allow other people to earn money and then I can earn money on them for earning money. Yes. Um, so we think that's gonna be really cool. That's like my number one prerogative. That's all I'm, that's not all, because it's funny, I was watching Elon Musk on Tucker Carlson last night and this guy runs Twitter and Tesla and SpaceX and Boring Company and Neuronet. And he's talking about making a truth GPT. And I said to my wife, I was like, how many things does this guy work on? Like, how does he do this? She goes, Anthony, do you know what you do all day? You're working on this, you're working on that, you're working. I go, well, that's kind of cool. I mean, obviously the scale is very different, but in terms of individual products, projects that you believe will integrate at the end of the day, um, I do think I have that, and I think that was pretty cool. I was actually flattered my wife said that, um, which is totally cool. But in terms of what I was just saying, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, anyway, uh, I saw there was some comments. I'd like to find the interview. I know encourage AI developers to still develop. Yeah. Um, oh, you couldn't hear. I was, all right. Well, that's even better because it's a surprise. Um, contest to vote for who makes the best Rhino picture. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. We'll make it into a shirt. I like that. So little stuff like that. Um, but I do want it, I do want it to be something that is regular, right? So if you have contests, well, contests are one-off events, unless you have a regularized contest, which I think 
is not a contest, right? Because contests are one-offs. So just something fun, something, and again, we'll come up with it, right? And by we, I mean everyone, because obviously I'm, I'm unable to at the moment, but please email me and let's get something going there. Um, I had something else. Oh, so also when I was talking to Travis, um, he was mentioning to me, he's like, well, Aunt, you know, there's, there's certain demographics that are really, that appeal, that a lot of this appeal to, but then there's like an older demographic that, you know, a lot of Rhino may not appeal to, right? Like maybe they're already retired, so they're not looking for something that is going to build towards retirement. Um, you know, a lot of the new tech and stuff doesn't really appeal to them, but they do have this mission statement. They do want to be a part of something, uh, and, and something that, you know, represents kind of like the superhero stuff that you're looking to do. And I had shared with him, and I'll, I'll share it out loud now because I don't like any just one person knowing. But after the affiliates platform, we're going to be looking into customizing bots. And what I mean by that, how does the prompt engineering program work? Is it a course? Is it set up for something else? Oh, so prompt engineering is, is, is it's, it's a course, um, but it's like a live course. So for instance, every Saturday at 3 p.m., I do a live demonstration of everything that that I want to share with you during the week. Like I've been using this, 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 now let me show you how to do it. All the while we take all those prompts and place them into membership. So in lieu of joining us on Saturday, not only will you have the replay there, but all of the latest and greatest prompts that we're using, we store there. So if you're part of prompt engineering, you could simply go to Rhino Hub where it is and say, okay, let me take a look. Oh, that looks great, let me do it. Or I remember this, let me do it or let me be on the live and ask this question, see what we come up with. Um, so it's really, it's really, it's really comprehensive. Um, it's, so it's not just like a stagnant course where it's like, oh great, you know, the course is already out of date by tomorrow. No, it's like a community every single week we're refreshing it for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, but in terms of the bot of what I was speaking about, I do believe for an older demographic, and, and I actually don't even mean older. I, I think it applies to them more, but I think the applications are for everyone. I've quietly been thinking, I think there's like a loneliness problem in this world. And that might sound silly because you're at the pinnacle of social media, but I, I don't think that's, I don't think that's real. Like, I don't think the connection on social media is real. I don't think, and Rhino excluded, right? Because like, not only are we on social media, we're on phone calls, we're on emails, and we all have a vested interest to succeed together, right? So that's, again, that's the lifeblood of Rhino, which is the corollary to what I'm about to share with you. I think there's, and that's why Rhino is so successful, right? Like, in lieu of loneliness, like, this is the opposite. So I've, I've, I've thought this for a very long time. I think there's just a loneliness problem. So you have people doing, you know, uh, when you're lonely, what do you do? You get scammed. You, you try to get into something and it doesn't work out. You get into relationships that don't work out well. You spend a lot of money on buying stuff that, you know, isn't there any longer when, when you no longer have the money. You do drugs, you drink, you, you get out of shape. Like there's things that, yes, yeah, social media won't, oh, that's a, Deb, you need to patent that like ASAP. Social media won't come to your funeral. That is, talk about taglines oh my god deb i don't know what to do but do it now like make shirts and do marketing for one day you'll be a millionaire tomorrow social media won't come to your i love that wow i'm writing that down somewhere sorry deb well, i'm not gonna do anything with it but oh my god that's so good like that's really good <laughs> completely caught me off <laughs> oh my god that's good Anyway, I can't, yeah, I can't even get past how good that is. Whew. Yeah, Deb, do something ASAP. Um, okay, so I, I just think there's a loneliness problem. So what I was saying to Travis was, with the tech that we have available to us, like say for instance, like what would be your perfect girlfriend? Or what would be your perfect boyfriend? Or what would be your perfect fill in the blank? Doctor, therapist, friend, whatever that is, what would it be? And I think the variables, the variables would be if it's like a, if it's a relationship, what's what's their attraction level? Like, what do they look like? Um, how do they treat you? What are your similarities? What are your hobbies? Um, stuff like that. If it's a therapist, what's their what's their educational background? What's their specialty? Um, what's their experience? 
if it's a, a doctor, kind of the same thing, but fill in the blanks. Now, what if you can take that and multiply it by 100, right? So what if I said to you, listen, I want you to tell me your favorite five books, your favorite five movies, your favorite five songs, your favorite five meals, and just went down the line of your favorite five, and it took you two hours to fill this out, right? Like you, you had to tell me about your five best friends, your five best relation, like every, like you, like I got a chance to know everything about you, your fears, your everything. And if I took that and created a, a digital person that was coded with only knowing that stuff and created an emulator in your likeness. So an emulator being something that you could, that allows you to speak to. So right now, say for instance, this chat, it's an emulator. So what if we made that emulator uh, a button you liked or the, the version of the girl or boy that you liked, right? Like whatever that picture is, and you got to talk to it all day, 24 seven. Whenever you were bored, you talked to it. And the bot remembered you because it only knows you. Like you build a relationship with it. Two years from now, the bot is like, hey, remember two years ago when we were talking and that funny show came on? Ha, ha, ha. The point being, I don't, like it sounds scary to say like, Anthony, that's a crazy idea, but it's scary that that idea would actually work. But I don't think it's any different than anything anyone does to begin with, right? Like, so say you're married and you work all day and you talk to your husband or wife through text and then you come home and you spend an hour or two together, but it's kind of like a stressful hour or two. You're, you're decompressing the work day, the kids are this, that. And then you go ahead and you watch your movie and you kind of just look over and, hey, that was a funny part or hey, this or hey, that. And that's... And that's the most genuine example. Now, what about those people that have long distance relationships or are looking to form bonds online or go online to speak to certain people or, or have a, a chat girlfriend or something, right? Like, I think, that, or, or and, and I'm talking about just relationship applications, but what about for doctors, right? Like, what if you have a particular disease and you would really, really be benefited by having a doctor that was a complete expert on that disease and you had him on call 24-7? Well, I could do that. I could make a bot that only knows that disease. And I could actually refresh the bot every day to go ahead and learn the new latest and greatest breakthroughs. The point of all this being, could we do that? Can we set up a templated form where people could fill out and then have that form templated out so that those answers are the variables that go into the prompt that we've already built and then we take that API, put it in the emulator and give it to the person. And I think the answer is yes. Like, cause we're doing it right now at RhinoBot. RhinoBot is nothing more than everything I just described to you, except RhinoBot only knows about RhinoBots, right? And everything else in the world because we pulled the API from OpenAI, but we have permission to do that. So if I was able to make you, or if Rhino was able to make you your best friend, your best, relationship, your best, your best doctor, your best therapist, and you can have it just right on your computer and talk to it anytime you want. You could have it in your text message. Maybe the emulator you want is text message. I, I don't know. Would there be value for that? And I think the answer is yes. I just, I do. And it's funny. I said to Travis, I was like, and you know, we'll do it in the $1 a week rhino fashion. <laughs> and he didn't say this, but I was kind of, you know, he's, he's not easily impressed. He's a, you know, he's been around the block and back. But anyone else would say, I know my wife would say, Anthony, a dollar a week? Like, what's wrong with you? I'm not interested in making a ton of money on people. I'm interested in everyone participating in everything. The key to Rhino has never been how much money you could get from any single person. That is completely counterintuitive to how Rhino will ever work. The key to Rhino is how many people can you bring in? Because the mission statement of Rhino is not like, hey, we're going to make the best ham and cheese sandwich. It's there's it's the real wealth of the world is in population. You just have to unite them because once you have a united population, you can do anything you want. So saying that to one or two people doesn't do anything. Everyone knows it individually, but you have to get everyone together to agree on it collectively. And the only way to do that is, hey, you like ham, you like bologna, you like turkey. I have this, I have this, I have this. Yeah, dollar, just come on, come on. All right, now that we're all here, can we agree on something? Let's do it. And that's how Rhino Bucks is built. The entire structure of it's scaled for when that moment happens. So 
kind of like Elon, I will continue building different stuff and I will do it at the latest and greatest. And I will do it with the absolute wow factor. And I will do it in absolute rhino standards because we're getting closer to that day. We've added a hundred accounts in the last 21 days. We went four months at zero, zero ads and a hundred in the last 21 days. And again, it's not because like we got lucky, like everything we built, we're now releasing. So that's a good thing. Um, all right, let me run. I'll have a lot more to share with you tomorrow. I'm firmly grabbing both sides of your face. <laughs> Ravi, go ahead. Um, yeah, so we're getting there. Um, I think that's it. But that bot's going to be so cool. Like, I really want everyone to have that. And the coolest part about it is ChatGPT 3.5 is free. So it's not even like I would have to use our API because, again, the cost would obviously increase if I'm giving this out to everyone and everyone's just doing their thing because we'd have to pay for it. But 3.5 allows each individual. It's almost like, um, it's almost like you come in with a suit and we tailor it for you, right? Like you're coming in with something you have, we're just making it the way you want and we send you off with it. So we don't have any type of residual responsibility or obligation. Now, of course, with the example I just shared with you, well, Anthony, why would anyone have to pay you weekly when you give it to them? It's, it's done. So we'll probably have to find a solution for that. Um, I imagine, first of all, I imagine in Rhino, nobody would do that. But secondly, at a dollar a week, why would you do it? And third of all, we'll have some type of one month upgrade cycle. Uh, so I think we could, I think we could address that. And fourthly, if, if a small percentage of people do it, again, it is $1 a week. So it's not like, oh my God, we lost a bazillion dollars in revenue. Um, I will not be oh, free to, you know, um, email me. Uh, let's, if everything's okay, it's cool. If not, uh, let's see what I can do for you. All right. Let me go. Oh, Chris, those Twitter prompts I told you I was going to work on yesterday, didn't it? Like bad Anthony, <laughs> bad Anthony. Um, I just didn't get to it. So that's actually my entire day today. But with that said, I did come up with a new one. So I'm making two today. Okay. Love you. I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye. And my son is having surgery as we speak. So if anyone is religious, say something nice and that would be super cool. Uh, have them in your mind and uh, that'd be awesome. Love everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.